Hello, this is Josh with Unicycle.com. Today we're going to show you how to assemble a Nimbus Oracle. And the same assembly on the Nimbus Oracle carries over to the Nimbus Hatchet, any of the 36ers that we sell. And some of the assembly would carry over onto the Chris Holm brand that we carry. Please be careful when you're unpacking this box as you will have the brake caliper attached to the frame already in the wheel. When we prepare this to ship out to you, we do check and make sure that the brake caliper is centered over the rotor. But sometimes during shipment, the unicycle can get a little rowdy and that can make it shift side to side slightly. So you may need to make the adjustment later on in the assembly. As we unpack this, you'll notice that the wheel's already in the frame. And when we set this up for you, we do already make the adjustments to make sure that the space is equal to the front and the back and properly tightened so it's tight enough to hold the wheel uh, snug in the frame, but not restrict wheel movement. Please note that there is no torque specs for this due to manufacturing tolerances on the bearing and or the bearing caps and the powder coating process or anodizing that takes place. So when you look at the double quick release, these have aluminum bolts and nuts that you would tighten and make sure this is snug. You don't wanna over tighten these. You just want them snug enough that you get a light imprint of this quick release lever onto your palm. If you wanted a hair tighter, you can do about a quarter turn on both of these nuts. Before installing the seat post, you wanna put a light coating of grease, whether it be a poly lube, synthetic, or even white lithium. And you want to insert the seat post. And as you can see, you need to snug these down a little bit. We do not over tighten them without the seat post as this can bend the frame. Once you have the seat post installed, you can flip the unicycle upside down. It's the most stable position to finish assembly on the unicycle. You will notice that there's little plastic clips that attach the brake hose to the frame. If they just so happen to snap off, they can easily be replaced with a zip tie. The zip ties honestly hold a little more secure. Make sure you trim the ends if you use a zip tie so they do not cut you. Now that we got the brake line adjusted, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. So if you have an extra slack in this brake line, once you have the seat post adjusted, any extra slack you can either coil and wrap around the seat post or if you have a handle accessory that's what that extra length is nice to have you want it snug enough that your hand will not move that lever so once you have the five millimeter allen that is enclosed in the box along with the pedal wrench you go ahead and snug this down and while you have that you want it to be able to be tight enough again, like I said, to where you can't move it with your finger. But a good test, probably right about there, is if you hit it with the palm of your hand, you want it to move slightly. That way, if you have an unplanned dismount or fall off the unicycle, it doesn't break the lever. If you break the lever, you have to replace it completely and have the brake and the entire system rebled by a professional bike mechanic or your local bike shop. Um, once this is adjusted, then you can go ahead and flip this around and get ready to install the pedals. Now that we're at that point, I unpack the box and inside the box you will note two cards. One is follow-up maintenance. Uh, we recommend five to ten hours worth of riding to fully go through and make sure all the nuts and bolts are tight and or, and or snug. And then if you would like written directions on how to assemble these, we also have that on the other card as well. Please note that you have a right side on the frame, right side crank arm, and if the sticker um, happens to fall off, there is a right hand side of the pedal which is threaded normal. So if you turn it to the right, it tightens the pedal. If you turn it to the left, it loosens it. And when you go to put these in, and you wanna make sure you put a little bit of that grease onto the threads of the 
pedal to be able that to be able to take the pedals off later on. And when you go to snug these down, it's really nice in this position with the cycle upside down. You hold the he hold the tire snug, and then you can pull the wrench to you. Now for the left side, you want to remember turning it to the right will loosen it. Turning it to the left will tighten it. Once you have the pedals tightened, then you will want to get your seat height adjusted. That's the time that you would want to mess with this extra slack, whether you want to coil it around it or um, if you want to have a professional shorten it, they can. But you want to be careful in making that decision as you may want to add a touring handle or a handle for more leverage when you're riding it off-road. We have a good key on how to set the saddle height. You want the top of the saddle to be level with your belly button. That way, within a half inch higher or lower of that adjustment will be your proper height that you will, will prefer to have the saddle. Then the last adjustment that you need to do once everything is assembled is you'll notice that there is a brake caliper right here. If by chance it is scrubbing when you go to pedal, because we get a lot of calls on this, um, that means that this might have moved or gone out of adjustment, like I said in the beginning of the assembly. And if that is so, what I recommend is laying your unicycle like this, and you can actually lay a piece of paper that we'll show you here um, or a white rag that will give you a reflector to be able to sight down the center of this caliper and get, get it adjusted to where you will have equal space on both the right and the left hand of the rotor. Once that's done, you'll be able to go out and have fun and hit the trail or run over anything you want in the yard. And we thank you for your time. Have a great day and go out and ride.